I own the rights to this music. what's going on hoping all is well with you I want to briefly talk about this racist Tom Likas or Tom Lakis or whatever his name is and although I'm not a follower never been a follower of Kevin Samuels in this in particular case where this bonafide racist and I go on record saying that he's a bona fide racist and there's plenty of data out there to verify the fact that he's a racist and what's even worse than that that Tom Likas is an envious racist which is the worst kind because that type of racist is behind what happened to us at Black Wall Street what happened to us at Rosewood. Envious Tom Lakis spirited Caucasians. And as you know or don't know, it was Tom Lakis who came out of the blue and said that Kevin Samuels got what he deserved for taking the content of other creators. Now mind you, 90% of what is spoken of in the so-called red pill community is nothing but regurgitated stuff. Everybody's taking it and putting their own scramble on it with a bit of personality and a bit of individuality. But when it's all said and done, 90% is the same language. But Tom Likas, who is a cross, physically he's a cross between three white men Archie Bunker slash Carol Connor Rush Limbaugh and John Lithgow from Third Rock he's one of those miserable overweight white dudes who all his life women have been making them making him pay for the punani one of them overweight fat dudes that if you let sit in your car you know when he gets out of the seat, you got to make sure you hit it with some damn disinfectant. Because it's going to be smelling like shit when he gets up. That's what type of dude he is. But instead of him being a man while Kevin was alive and, indre and addressing Kevin, he does the coward thing. Like most envious, you know, suckers and, and fools do. You know... It's not an accident that he's of the few people that is mentioned in the Macadine. We don't mention too many men. But Tom Lakers has an honorary mention in this book. I'm going to read it. Because like I told you before, the Macadine really is so on time that it covers things that are taking place right at the moment. Written down before they, about people before they do the stupid shit they're about to do. So, in the magazine, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's chapter 2, Red Pills, Blue Pills, Purple Pills, MGTOW, and Incels. Briefly, I'm going to go to this part right here where it says, As a so-called black man of the United States of America, 
who understands the obvious social differences and plights of men of every so-called race, it's imperative that a message for man's regeneration be tailored in such a way as to be optimally helpful to all men who partake of such a philosophy. The Red Pill MGTOW community and some incellers, although a lot of the info that they share is good for all men, are led by angry, bombastic, and deranged white racists such as Tom Likas. I'm going to stop right there. The reason I came to that conclusion because before I came to this conclusion, I listened to several of his broadcasts because you have these ignorant Negroes who worship racists like him. I've heard people, including Mr. Samuels, they have get given shout outs to this racist. And in return, he tells you that you got what you deserve. Because in his envious heart, that's how he felt all along. But once again, a coward. A damn coward. So when I listened to him and I heard the racist language coming out of his, being spewed out of his wicked mouth. I heard the racist epithets. So we can pull the recordings if you try to come at me, which verifies that you're a racist a racist and you're one of those racists who are really mad at yourself in your own life because your money does you no good as a person it only makes you like money does a better version of whether it's your good or your bad side Tom Likas is the reason why we have second Baptist churches and the reason why black people have you know, the black Masons, the black Masonic Lodge that was started by our beloved brother, Prince Hall. Because of people like Tom Lakis, we have to separate, which now I understand why they created a black manosphere. Because you have these bombastic racists, these, these, these really, they're really Ku Klux Klans. They really are hate haters of everything that's not white yet they hate themselves so I would recommend that all men who are really serious about helping other men leave that racist bastard alone he's not even worthy of a mention or listen and stop worshiping brother stop worshiping these white content creators they're secretly watching us. Soaking up your game. And then turning it around and making it appear as though. Their stuff is getting stolen. They're mad because that brother did miracles. And like I said, I didn't follow him. And I didn't agree with a lot of things he was about. However. When it comes to principle, people like Tom Likas has to be ostracized because he's a dangerous person. Actually, when you say someone deserves to die, you would have helped pay somebody to kill him if you could have got away with it. But like Rush Limbaugh, you have no game. Like John Lithgow and like Archie Bunker, you're a clown. A fucking clown. And you need to be removed from YouTube and airwaves everywhere because you're a poison asp. More later. Peace.